okay welcome back guys now in this video we're gonna see how to change this description and uh, data sheet in PrestaShop website so this is basically the tabs and we need to modif modify this tabs by going into cPanel and uh, changing something so let's log into the cPanel quickly and uh, then we can change those things and uh, even we can add our own custom uh, uh, what you can say the tabs which will be static or something like that so I'm just going to show you how to change this particular remove this data sheet and change this description to the specifications because this particular website is a little bit of a uh, wood or like a furniture kind of a thing so some industry specific things are there so we need to modify that particularly so let's log in and uh, yeah so first of all you need to go into the file manager and uh, then we need to go into your PrestaShop installation directory where you have actually installed your PrestaShop. So in our case, we have installed in Boot Planet, and here we can see we got few folders. Now we need to go into the themes folder, and then we can find uh, this particular theme which is installed for Nitika, and inside that there is another bunch of folders. So basically we need to only concentrate on templates folder and then we have to go into the catalog folder then we have to go into the oh sorry into the product.tpl file okay and this particular structure might be vary from the uh, theme to theme so uh, this will be like a basic boilerplate kind of a thing where i'm talking about but uh, this might be vary from the different themes which you have in your website so don't get confused in that case if you didn't get anything just drop the comment i'll just get back to you on that so this is basically the page where we actually uh, you know getting the product displayed over here so this is like the product detail page and uh, here you can see that this particular thing has all those meta property tags so the uh, or what you can say the title tag description all those things so this is basically for the open graph uh, social networking tags where you can share your link and uh, automatically it will fetch the uh, relative content and uh, display it on the page so this is basically for that and uh, just below that we have to go and see where are the tabs okay so the easiest way to do that is just press ctrl f and search for description so you can have this description okay but we don't want this one so just hit enter enter product description so you can see this this is the navigation for that and here you can see description is written over there okay and uh, another tab is the attachment tab when you have your product with some attachment like for example uh, downloadable file like uh, any document or anything brochure like that so it will be automatically populated under attachments folder attachments tab so here you have to just change to specifications and also below there we have to change specification this is basically the uh, basically the tabs where you are actually working out with this okay now here it is actually saying if the product description is there then show this otherwise don't show that blah 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 stuff like that and uh, this is basically for the what you can say uh, these these particular things features things okay when you add your product features so these are the product features basically and recently I have actually renamed with the description so might be you know there are two descriptions might be a little confusing for you but I have recently changed that so moving on to this and where you can see this is download and uh, this is the product detail uh, partial file we have to open it this this particular file also so we need to remove that data sheet uh, word from this particular file because this is not making any sense over here in this particular project but it might make sense in different project depending upon your work and here we have to just open the product dash details file and we can see the this is specification reference and there might be the data sheet see you can have this so you can just remove this particular thing and it will be disappearing from the website so if the website doesn't reflect the changes don't worry about that it might be the uh, reason of uh, uh, caching 
so you can just go into your admin panel and go into the performance and clear the cache then you are done so as you can see I have cleared the cache basically I have previously created clear the cache so I, I my website has those changes which I have did now if you want to go further and you want to change all those things basically for want to play around with the styling so all you have to do is just open the inspect element and then select the appropriate uh, column in this case we have this uh, DT class name okay so all those names over here at the left side is reflecting uh, with this particular style which we have so just right side we have this particular style sheet so we need to change a few things in there so let's see what all those default values so these are the default values we can even go and change this color to a little bit offset so this is basically uh, you know apply this particular style sheet on alternative rows but we don't want that we just want a left column to be a different color and right column to be a different color that's it so you can go in backgrounds for this particular thing I'm just putting red so that we can see the difference and here also if you can see uh, those are like the what you can say alternatives okay so you again have to jump over to the second column or second row and do the same so here we have this background oh sorry there is already present so you can uh, change the color over there okay now again it will create a problem why because this is actually affecting to the whole uh, uh, row and it is also affecting to the right hand side column so we don't want that thing so the simplest way to do this particular thing let's undo this changes which you have did uh, remove this one yeah so just copy this particular thing and go into the themes come on man yeah okay so going into this theme.css we got a lot of huge inline basically compressed file so just jump over to the home of this particular line and add this particular class so if you can see this is a drop down no sorry product dash features dl data sheet and dl dt dash name okay so let's check this out here we have product feature data sheet name and then we have this columns okay now we need to apply these specific styles and uh, we need to go into the source and just add come on yeah background red okay now here it is again adding this to uh, what you can say to the specific uh, columns but if you just write a single word that is important that means it will take this whole uh, column to default red color okay so I don't want red color here I just want an offset color of this so let's use this one might be good and need to change something over here so let's go in the column itself and do some little more styling because this is not more visible over here so once you have added the uh, class in the source so you can just edit this particular thing over here also now what I have to do I have to change the color of the text so I'm just making it white I think it is visible and making font weight bolder okay so let's go and change this to 900 little bit good and also the padding is 5 pixels sorry 5 pixels and I guess there is a height issue so maybe these guys are having a specific height let's check this out what exactly the thing minimum height is 4 rem so if you just click on that it will automatically reset the height and give you the standard one and you can also play around with the paddings always yeah so we need a uh, six pixels that is pretty sweet and also at the right side we need to change the basically we need to add the padding okay this is five pixel so just go and add a uh, six pixel okay so now looking great but uh, if you want this to be aligned uh, so we have this text align so this is basically the basic CSS stuff which I'm doing right now 
and uh, so this is what you can get okay now if you want to just reduce this size look it more better you can do that so all those things are like the CSS part where you can do uh, some styling stuff like that so what next we have to do just copy all those things which you have did so going to going into the theme.css in the source tab just control a and control c and where is exactly this file if you don't know just take your mouse over there and you can see the path of this file so in our case the file is located under assets slash css so just go into the assets slash css file sorry theme.css file and going one more back we have this assets css theme.css edit so here you have to paste and save the file now again the same thing might happen with you that uh, if you are having your cache enabled then you might not be able to see this file there might be something different so don't get panic just first of all go into your performance tab where I'm talking about exactly go over here in advanced performance tab and just clear the cache and disable it okay so I have this particular uh, done uh, thing done before so I have this particular thing uh, available over here so that is good now uh, let's check that we have saved this yeah and just go over to your reload button and right click and empty cache and hard reload that's it so after that all the changes which we have did might be affected over here let's see it might take a little while to load because it is actually clearing the cache and we got what we want so that's it so this is pretty simple tutorial on uh, you know playing around and tweaking some things in the PrestaShop backend so if you like this video please like and if you uh, want more such videos please subscribe and press the bell icon to get daily updates thank you